Evaporites are one of the three rock types of interest in which a geological disposal facility might be sited. They are left behind when a salty body of water, either an inland lake or marine water, has evaporated. The salt flats in arid areas of the world, like Great Salt Lake in Utah, are examples of evaporites forming today. A common type of evaporite is rock salt, or halite, the kind of salt that's spread on roads during the winter. Rock salt has several properties that make it potentially well suited for hosting a geological disposal facility. First, they are made up of interlocking crystals of salt with very few gaps in between them. This makes it very difficult for water, gas and other fluids to pass through it, even over geological timescales. Secondly, rock salt absorbs water vapour. That means that salt mine environments are extremely dry. In some parts of the world, including the UK, documents, precious artefacts and priceless works of art are kept in salt mines for this reason. And third, although this specimen is solid and brittle, Rock salt can be squeezed into different shapes under relatively low pressures and over short timescales. In this time-lapse film of a laboratory experiment, the weight of the sand pouring into the apparatus is sufficient to deform the layer of salt at the base. Deformation like this happens in nature. This means that cracks and fractures in rock salt, which in other rock types might provide pathways for water and gases to flow, rapidly close up and seal and therefore prevent movement of these fluids.